Identity is probably the most profound and challenging subject tackled herein. Throughout the ages, humans have asked, who am I? While we can identify ourselves with numerous criteria such as name, address, accomplishments, memberships, descriptions, and more, the question of who am I remains a question with profound philosophical underpinnings. Identity finds itself tied to beliefs, thoughts, words, actions, and values to comprise our character. Thousands of articles and books delve into questions of identity. The concern in this video is how to choose an identity or identities that fulfill your goals. When we examine our mantra, we can add a phrase right here. Your habits become your values. Your values become your character. Your character becomes your destiny. Since you have discovered your why and your how, the time is probably right to embrace new or more useful identities. In his book, Atomic Habits, the author James Clear notes a very important aspect of changing one's habits. Habits which are identity focused can be more easily embraced and strengthened. If you want to encourage a new habit for a morning run, then you do not think of a running habit but rather, I am a runner. If you want to encourage a new habit for filmmaking, then you do not think of a filming habit, but rather, I am a filmmaker. If you are creating a new business, then do not think you are doing business, but more forcefully, I am an entrepreneur. In other words, the mantle of identity that you put on your shoulders accelerates your progress on numerous levels, including your depth and conviction of belief, confidence, and motivation. These elements are powerful feelings which can support your pursuit of your why. Identity means a personal philosophy tied to five fundamental elements. One, what is your mindset? If your mindset is one of fear, hesitation, and non-growth, then your upward trajectory is limited. This means your mindset is fixed. The opposite is the growth mindset, whereby you can gain skills, add to your experience, and foster opportunity. Effort is the key propellant here with doses of discipline and motivation. What are your habits? We've certainly covered this a bit. We may say one thing, but do another. Our habits create our own unique traits. What are you grateful for? I have a gratitude jar to which I add another slip of paper each day. Simple gratitude makes us happy for what we have rather than the suffering and anxiety with always wanting more. What are your values? That's something in the next exercise to determine the values that guide your life as a principle-based life of design. How can you live your life by your design? Many people get involved in trends to tell them what they want and needs fostered by peer pressure. A life of the authentic self is key for fulfillment. With a growth mindset, you can achieve unlimited goals when you utilize values to inform your habits. Exercise. Take one of your goals and create an embraceable identity for this goal. Try it with other goals. Use the structure I am activity new habit because I am identity anchor. Live your life by design. 